Shall we pray, please? Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful unto you for the gift of life. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Almighty God, for your power to work in your university, in our individual lives, making today reality by bringing us here. Lord, I want to thank you for all the previous editions of the convocation program we've had. I want to thank you for journey messages granted to all our guests, parents, and the graduates. I want to thank you, O oh Lord, for your loving kindness and faithfulness that keeps making your university grow stronger and stronger, better and better. Unto you, Jehovah, be glory forever and ever in the name of Jesus. As we commence this program, we commit it into your hand, O oh God, is to honor God in the first instance and also these graduates and some special dignitaries we ask that you take preeminence in all things in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God and our King. To you alone be glory forever and ever. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. The visitor to the university, chairman and members of the board of trustees, chairman and members of the governing council, the vice chancellor, members of the senate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The Redeemers University Law of 2003 as amended empowers the university to hold examinations and grant degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other distinctions to persons who have pursued purposes of study approved by the university and have satisfied such other requirements as the university may lay down, as well as to award medals, prizes, and other titles. Section 10. Item 1 of the said law also provides that the Chancellor, when present, shall preside at meetings of convocation held for conferring degrees. In his absence, the Vice Chancellor shall preside at the meeting of convocation. I therefore humbly call on the Vice Chancellor to constitute this assembly as a convocation for the admission to first degrees, higher degrees, and the confirmment of honorary degrees, as well as the presentation of prizes. The Vice Chancellor, sir. I hereby constitute this assembly as a convocation of the Redeemers University for the purpose of admission to first degrees, higher degrees, and the confirmment of honorary degree as well as the presentation of prizes. I hereby invite the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Pastor Ezekiel A. Odeyemi, to present his welcome address. The Pro Chancellor, sir. Visitor represented by the chairman of the board of trustees. It is both a privilege and pleasure to warmly welcome you all to this great and significant event marking the 15th convocation of our university, Redeemers University. First and foremost, I want to sincerely appreciate the Almighty God who has been merciful and gracious unto us to witness this unique event on behalf of the University 
Governor Council, I extend my profound appreciation to the visitor and general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. Deboe Amomi, our mother in Israel, Pastor Mrs. Folua Deboe. Your passion towards the Redeemed University Project has continually served as a reference point and inspiration for us to continue to aim higher. I heartily welcome you. Kudos to members of the Board of Trustees, Governing Council, Senate, Management, the entire staff, and students of the Redeemers University for the consistent hard work since the last convocation. Distinguished the division and mission of Redeemers University was written solidly on the word of God, and this explains the reason. Like a mustard seed sown in 2005, it has sprouted and brought forth rich foliage that is producing buds, flowers, and good fruits. This gathering is another watershed in the history of this great citadel of learning. We are reaping another bounteous harvest as the institution is confirming various categories of degrees on 800 and 88 students. <laughs> Today's ceremony attests to the rise and profile of a university well equipped to promote academic excellence, moral consciousness, righteousness, and spiritual uprightness among our team youths. We are also releasing a new generation of Nigerians to the fulfillment of their destinies. These are a new crop of Nigerians imbued with patriotic fervor to birth a new nation and a entrepreneurial drive to take us to greater heights. The university had the opportunity of inviting Dr. Sheikh Wagbaje, the group chief executive officer of Antitrust PLC Lagos, to deliver the last convocation lecture titled Digital Opportunities for Research and Employment Generation. The convocation was an opportunity for the university to bring Tan and Gan together for the purpose of discussing issues affecting our ever-changing nation and the world at large. I want to state categorically that the 15th convocation of this great university is indeed an important and distinctive one. This year's convocation lecture, delivered by an erudite scholar and astute university administrator, Professor Right Reverend Daku Ashaju, former chancellor at Jai Crowder University of New York, and presently Anglican Bishop of Elisha, titled Transformative Economy and the Jagba Syndrome in Nigeria has given us a serious food for thought as to what we have done with this nation and going forward, what we may need to do. It's also germane to note that the university is growing and growth covers all segments of administration in terms of increase in enrollment of quality students, increase in qualified human resources and infrastructural development, all geared towards promoting a first-class functional institution. In less than two decades of its establishment, Redeemers University has flourished even beyond the dreams of its architects. For these and other laudable achievements recorded by the university, I want to commend the clear mission, vision, sincerity of purpose, and financial commitment of the visitor, and congratulate him for the actualization of his dream to provide quality education to the youth generally. The Demas University has been ranked one of the best private universities in the country. Thus, we are at the forefront of developing critical manpower required for building and developing our nation and the world at large. Our courses and research areas are intentionally tailored towards preparing our students for nation building and solving societal challenges. The visitor Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to inform you that Redeemers University has been recognized within and outside the shores of this country 
as a home for talented researchers, an international center of excellence, and the continental powerhouse for research in genomics of infectious diseases. The African Center for Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases, ISGID, has continued to receive accolades from notable organizations around the globe and attract research grants. The University African Center of Excellence for the Genomics of Infectious Diseases is not relenting in its core mandate of tackling health challenges confronting the nation and the sub-Saharan Africa. As a result of its groundbreaking achievements, the center has become a reference point for, for its contemporaries, both locally and internationally. Permit me to use this opportunity to express my deep appreciation to individuals and organizations who have made significant contributions towards the actualization of the dream of Redeemers University since its inception, and particularly since the past one year. I especially express my gratitude and appreciation to members of the University Governing Council, to whom I owe much of the success the university has recorded since the last convocation. I'm highly delighted by the diligence and passion of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Antonio Enisakilo, whose dedication to duty and indefatigable spirit have helped to build an enabling environment for us to work together as a team for the overall progress of the university. I will also need to mention at this particular point that this being the last convocation of our vice chancellor, I will want this um, convocation to please rise and give him, um, to, to thank him on behalf of the governing council. He has done excellently well. Shall we please rise? I believe we can do much better than that. God bless you. Thank you. I equally express my profound appreciation to the university management, senate, and staff who are working hard to make the university move on the path of excellence that it is known for. I must also not forget to commend the entire students of the university for their sense of discipline and decorum which has promoted the much desired peace on campus. These are facilitated proper teaching and learning. I sincerely appreciate the spirit of love demonstrated by all our invited guests who honor us with their presence and friends of the university for their show of commitment to our cause through their messages of solidarity and goodwill. May God reward you all in large measures. Once again, I facilitate with our dear graduating students and their parents who are celebrating today. We rejoice with all the families that have produced these students. To the graduates of today, the dominion set. Permit me to say that education is a key to freedom. Yet, it is the hallmark of the educated mind to recognize that your education is not enough. And from that recognition, Devote yourself to lifelong learning. Do not close your mind to the possibilities that exist. All things are to be examined and called into question. If you do this, you will light a candle of understanding in your heart, which shall not be put out. All, devote your private and public life to the service of the Lord Almighty, as you can do nothing without him. I congratulate you. Thank you for listening, and God bless. time to receive the goodwill and congratulate messages from sister universities. But before I call the vice chancellors and the representative to walk up to the dais to have a handshake with a vice chancellor, I quickly want to recognize some guests in our midst. 
especially our senior pastors from the redeemed Christian Church of God and from the Redemption City of God, I say welcome. I want to especially recognize the wife of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Mrs. Yinka Akinlo. You're welcome. I can see our immediate past Vice Chancellor, Professor Debo Adeyewa. You're welcome, sir. I immediate past Bosser, Mrs. Um, Bofolusho Olutayo, you're welcome, madam. And our registrar and his amiable wife, Mr. and Mrs. Akindele, you're welcome, sir. In the course of the program, we'll recognize all the guests. It's time to specially welcome and to receive our vice chancellors from Sisters University. I'll call, and as I call, please, you'll walk up to the days and have a handshake with um, the vice chancellor. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir. First on the list is Professor Esosa Samuel from the University of uh, Medical. He's representing the vice chancellor. Please, Professor Esosa Samuel. Followed by Professor G.I. Olaoshebikon from Covenant University, representing the Vice Chancellor, Covenant University, Ota. <laughs> Professor Godwin Oyedoku, Leeds City University, the Vice Chancellor, Leeds City University. <laughs> Professor Nosa Owens, Vice Chancellor, Kalem University. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Professor. O.J. Olateju, representing the Vice Chancellor of Lagos State University, Ojo Lagos. <laughs> Professor O.B. Adeoluwa from the University Ikarekiti. <laughs> Dr. J.A. Daramola. Representing the Vice Chancellor of Belt University of Technology, Ota. <laughs> Professor Timothy Adebayo of Ajayi Crowder, the Vice Chancellor of Ajayi Crowder University, Oyo. <laughs> Dr. Adebukola Ayola, representing Vice Chancellor of Kola Daisi University, Ibadan. Aderoju Boyega, representing the Vice Chancellor, Southwestern University. <laughs> Professor Taidi Eka Keni, Benson Idahosa University, representing the Vice Chancellor, Benson Idahosa University. And Professor Samuel Oladipo. Representing Vice Chancellor Tai Sholari University. We also have with us Dr. J. O. Adegbite, the Provost Bethel Institute. Please, can we give a round of applause our graduate students? They have come to honor you. We have Dr. M. A. Aboyade. Representing the Vice Chancellor Lautech. Dr. R. A. Ortiz represent the, is the Provost of the Redeemed Christian Bible College, all the way from the Redemption City of God. You're welcome, sir. Ali Baloku, Fountain University. She's the bossa representing the Vice Chancellor. Ali Balogu from Fountain University. <laughs> Professor Alex Ovie Daleru, Adeleke University. <laughs> Dr. Olamitui Bakari, representing the Vice Chancellor of Pan Atlantic University in Lagos. Professor Julius Koloke from Precious Cornerstone. You're welcome, sir. Professor Abel 
Olorun Shala, Dominion University, Ibadan. He's the Vice Chancellor of Dominion University, Ibadan. Professor J. O. Babalola, the Vice Chancellor of Bowen University, Iwo. Professor Ajesoya of Elizabeth University, Lara Mokin, you're welcome, sir. Professor John, from Landmark University, you're welcome, sir. Professor John representing the Vice Chancellor of Landmark University. Professor Babalola, representing the Vice Chancellor of Bafemi Awolowo University. And now, our immediate first Vice Chancellor, Professor Debo Adeyewa, representing the Vice Chancellor, Federal University of Technology, Akure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for honoring us. We appreciate. Now it's the time for the Vice Chancellor to deliver his convocation address. I respectively invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Anthony Enison Akilo, to deliver the convocation address. Thank you, sir. I will claim the indulgence of the visitor represented here by the chairman of our BOT, Pastor Beton Uluak Ayode to stand on the already established protocol so that we can save time. It is with great joy that I welcome everyone to the joyful occasion of the 15th Convocation of Redeemers University. Our reserved praise and appreciation to the Almighty God who has been our source and has kept his university standing despite the intimidating challenges confronting the nation. So far, and by his grace, the university has been able to diligently pursue her vision as envisaged by her founding fathers. Again, we sincerely appreciate the visitor to the university, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, for his unthering support. He has graciously contributed to the development process of the university. Our dear mother in Israel, Pastor Mrs. Fulu Adeboye, has also been a pillar of support to the growth of the university. Our heartfelt prayer is that the Almighty God will continue to bless you, Daddy and Mommy, and also grant you many more years in sound health as you see your desires over the university come to pass. I want to express our genuine appreciation to the distinguished chairman of the BOT, Board of Trustees, Pastor Olukayo de Equiton, and other honorable members of the board. We also recognize and appreciate our esteemed Chancellor, General Teofilos Yakubu Danjuma, retired GCON, for his outstanding support to the growth of the university. May the Lord continue to keep and strengthen you, sir. Similarly, we are pleased to register our appreciation to the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Pastor E.A. Odeyemi, and other eminent members of the Governing Council for their relentless support to the progress of the university. I wish to acknowledge and honestly appreciate the benevolence and support of the leadership of the redeemed Christian Church of God. On this note, our sincere gratitude goes to the immediate past RCCG National Overseer, Pastor J. Obayemi, for his measurable assistance received. 
Furthermore, I want to use this medium to congratulate and recognize the current national overseer, Pastor Sunday Akonde. We pray that God will also use you, sir, to bless his university. Our utmost indebtedness also goes to Pastor Joseph Adeyokunu, Pastor Peter Adeyemi, and all the top excellence of the Redeemed Christian Church of God worldwide. To all our supporters and helpers of destiny all over the world who have contributed materially, financially, intellectually, and encouraged us to pursue our goals and aspirations towards attaining the vision of our proprietor. Gratitude to our host community here for the warm hospitality towards us. Similarly, our appreciation goes to the Christian and Muslim communities for their supportive rules. Profound and unending appreciation goes to His Royal Majesty, the Thimi of Ede, Oba Muridin Adishola Lawa, Laminisa I and his eminent chiefs for their unparalleled love for the university. Sincere gratitude to our dear parents, the Redeemers University Family Forum, for their commitment to the progress of the university. Our distinguished alumni, we appreciate your contributions. Finally, it is with warm enthusiasm that I heartily welcome our graduates and also rejoice with them and members of their families on this memorable occasion. I will just highlight a few achievements in the past five years. Again, we return all glory and praise to the Almighty God for the development so far achieved in the university, particularly in the last five years that this administration came on board. With the help of God, visitor to the university, Pastor E. Adeboye, a mother in Israel, Pastor Mrs. Fulu Adeboye, Board of Trustees, and Governor Council, our administration has been able to recall landmark achievements. Some of the fields will be highlighted to our theme stakeholders to appreciate various developmental projects that have taken place in the university within five years and above all to glorify God. Completed uh, projects. Commissioning of the Faculty of Engineering is a petrol building donated by the university uh, to the university by General T.Y. Danjuma. Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences building constructed and donated by the visitor to the university, Pastor E. Enoch Adejari Adeboye. Seven units, bungalow or students' hostel, each of which contains 26 rooms. Three units, story building or students' hostel with 52 rooms each. World Bank funded HG building with state of the art equipment. University microfinance banking building, 1,200 seating capacity university uh, event center a block of classrooms for the university star school, late Madam Abigail Akbike Olugwemi Memorial Hall, donated by Pastor Bayo Olugwemi, reconstruction of the sports pavilion by the Family Forum, modern biological sciences laboratory, chemical science laboratory with up-to-date equipment, construction of the powerhouse, multipurpose hall, in the female hostel donated by a prominent friend of the university. Office complex for directorate of works and maintenance services. Center for gender, humanitarian, and developmental studies building. Installation of power lamps in the student hostels by the family forum, which ensured uninterrupted illumination of students' hostels, especially at night. Construction of 14 units of shops and two buildings at the new university market. 150 seating capacity lecture theater donated by 
uh, to the university by Pastor Dr. Oladokun Olatunde, GP. Academics. Expansion of academic programs from 26 to 54, and a successful accreditation of 32 programs, with 27 programs receiving full accreditation status, while the remaining five received interim. Increase in students enrollment into the undergraduate program from 1,449 in 2018 to 5,334, while postgraduate rose from 57 to 719 within the same period. Attraction of foreign students to the university facilitated by the visitor, Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye. Institutionalization of 43 endowments and academic prices. Acquisition of books and journals worth several millions of naira. Successful conduct of four matriculation and five convocation. Major procurement. Purchase of Toyota Corolla CAF for the Directorate of Educational Services and Training Desks. Purchase and installation of 1,000 kVA cat power generating set. Toyota Land Cruiser SUV for the university. A silver oven with the capacity to produce 120 big loaves and 200 small loaves of bread at a time. This is to expand the capacity of the university Consort Limited. Five Toyota Corolla car for deans of faculties. Then a tractor for gardening and agricultural purposes. Donation of two 30-seater capacity coaster buses by the Board of Trustees. Donation of one international bus by the RCCG mission. Procurement of a Toyota Costa bus, Hayas bus, and Diana lorry. Motorcycles for security units and directors of works and maintenance services. 10,000 liters capacity tanker for collection and distribution of AGO diesel within the campus. And two brand new Toyota Lumon for official use. Ongoing projects. Additional three units, story building of student hostels, construction of ceremonial road from the main gate to the, uh, of the university to the permanent site, construction of the Institute of Earth Sciences building donated by Chairman Amni International Chief Tunde Afolabi, the university guest house, construction of a block of lecture theater donated by Wole Olanikwekun, SAN. It is our joy that God has really helped us in successfully steering the ship of the university up to this moment. I therefore appreciate everyone that God has used to contribute to the massive infrastructural expansion. The development has made the university more attractive locally and internationally. Our researchers are becoming sandwiches of all eyes while our students are enjoying highly improved learning environment. Activities of ESGID. The University African Center of Excellence for the Genomics of Infectious Diseases, ESGID, continues to make impact in its core mandates of combating the challenges posed by infectious diseases and other public health-related issues. One, ESGID hosted eight young Africans on a four-week-long internship, the interns are undergraduate students from Burundi, from Togo, Liberia, Rwanda, Uganda, and Kenya. The internship was as a result of the center's partnership with African Leadership Academy with the aim of exposing young Africans to tools, techniques, and opportunities in molecular biology and genomics. Two, Director H.G. Professor Christian Happy was named as one of the 25 standout voices in African public health by Harvard Public Health. If you want to clap, please, let's clap for... Oh. The standout voices is a list of leaders forging a healthier future 
for Africa through policy and practice. Each year installed a new lab site Echo 525 bioanalyzer and equipment that automates the laboratory preparation process. The equipment can run 384 samples at once and it requires lower quantities of sample reagents and shorter time to complete the process. The Vice Chancellor and the Director of the Center led other ASG team members to participate in the 8th Regional Workshop of the X Impact Project in Banjo, Gambia from 14th November to 18th November 2022. ASG team members were trained on using MCAMEN microfluidic uh, combination array reactions and for multiplex evaluations of nucleic acid, a disease detection technology that can simultaneously distinguish multiple viruses and virus strains from multiple samples in one run. With it, the public workers can distinguish between viruses that present similar symptoms but requires different public health responses. In recognition of its strategic importance, quality of surveillance and equipment, SG trained 10 scientists from five African countries, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Republic of Congo, and Nigeria on next generation sequencing and bioinformatics for the detection of MPOS. SG installed nano collect world cell sorter and a 10 X genomics chromium X series equipment. The nano select is a single cell sorting technology used for sorting cells to establish a stable cell line, analyze cells for drug discovery. The chromium X series is used for single RNA profiling technology used for the analysis of large numbers of cells at a high capture efficiency. And lastly, in recognition of the vital role being played by AGIT, it's in providing required solution to infectious diseases. The Vice Chancellor, Professor A. E. Akinlaw, and Director of Center, Professor C.T. Happy, led other ASG team to participate in the ninth regional workshop of X Impact Project at Marrakesh, Morocco, from, 20, from 29th of May to 2nd of June 2023. Statistics of the 2023 convocation. At this 15 convocation, we have altogether 750 graduates. 44 of them made first class, representing 5.9%. 290 in the second class upper division, representing 38.7%. And 264 are graduating with second class lower division, representing 35.2%. 74 orders fall into the first class 9.8% category, and three would pass. Furthermore, in the nursing science and physiotherapy program, three students are graduating with a pass with extinction, and 58 students are graduating with a pass with credit. Six other graduating with a pass. In the diploma category, Three are in the upper credit division, while the other five are graduating with lower division. Table there presents the highlights. The overall best graduating students this year is Mr. Uwojuiwe Mayokun Josiah. In the Department of Mass Communication, with a CGPA of 4.93. In accordance with our policy, the university is offering Mr. Awoju Ibuema Yokun Josiah the automatic position of graduate assistantship in addition to a full scholarship for his postgraduate program 
tenable in the institution. I wish to report that in addition to this, 39 postgraduate diplomas, 91 masters, one MPhil, and seven PhD degrees have been awarded to deserving postgraduate students who have distinguished themselves academically in various fields. Maiden Redeemer University Distinguished Professorship Award. Professor Christian T. Happy, Director, African Center of Excellence for the Genomics of Infectious Diseases, will be conferred with the Maiden Redeemer University Distinguished Professorship Award. This is in recognition of his enormous contribution to addressing the challenge posed by the infectious diseases and other public health related issues in Sub Saharan Africa and beyond. Other criteria used for the selection of this award include leadership quality, quality of research output, number of grants and awards, membership of recognized professional bodies and number of publications and citations. Confirmment of honorary degree. As part of this year's convocation activity, the university has decided to bestow its highest honor, Doctor of Letters, on Pastor Tukumbo Adesoya, the immediate past pro-chancellor and chairman of University Governing Council, you know, served from 16th August 2013 to 15th August 2021 for his dedication to the educational and physical development of the university and the public in general. I want to mention also that the second person should have been Senator Desi Danjuma. Unfortunately, just two days ago, she sent a note to us that she will not be able to come for certain reasons. And by his grace, we are believing God that a special convocation will be made for her. It's, she's unavoidably, she had prepared, I'm sure she called our chancellor and everybody, but by his grace, a special convocation will be made for her by his grace. <laughs> Concluding remarks. Our dear graduating students, the Dominion said, Please know that beyond the intellectual grooming that we have provided, the Almighty God has given you necessary spiritual protection to dominate. You are secured from all evils of the world because you belong to him. Therefore, I enjoin you to go into the world, display your God-given potentials, and dominate, but with absolute fear of God. There could be challenges as you strive to dominate. Do not be deterred, but rather invite God into such situation, and God Almighty will surely give you victory. Avoid associating with agents of the devil who may want to derail you and deprive you of being conquerors. As graduates of this prestigious university, or the Dimas University, let those unique life-changing values that you have imbibed intellectually and spiritually be your permanent attributes. In essence, you have been fully prepared and equipped to provide necessary ingredients for positive change from the current highly polluted society. Let me remind you that this university needs you. Many great institutions of the world class status around the world today emerge substantially from the support that they receive from their uh, alumni or graduates. You are implored to always have it at the back of your mind that your armor is waiting for your contributions in the nearest future. 
And as you do so, God will reward you accordingly in the name of Jesus. Once again, congratulations to my dear graduates. I wish each and every one of you great success. it in future. By the grace of God, I pray that our efforts over these young ones will be rewarding in Jesus' name. And I've gotten the permission of the chairman of council to introduce, announce to us that as from this session, anyone coming to study Christian religious studies will be on full scholarship. The visitor, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all most sincerely for your rap attention. God bless you. It's time for admission to first degrees. And before I call on the first dean, please um, permit me to recognize the presence of His Royal Majesty, Oba A.B. Idowu, Commander of the Order of Niger, the Olu Ade of Ekiriade in Kogi State, and his amiable wife, Olori B.F. Idowu, KVSC, you're welcome, sir. The Vice Chancellor, I now call on the Dean of the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Professor O.D. Olukani, to present his graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the status and regulations at the Redeemers University and who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the first degrees of the university. Professor Olukani, please. All graduates for the award of first degree in the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences for the 2022-2023 academic session should stand and remain standing. In the name of the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences and by the authority of the Senate, I have the honor to present to you these persons who have successfully completed their degree programs in, the, in this university. Those present and those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent, and whom I stand closing, who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted into the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Human Anatomy, Human Physiology, Bachelor of Nursing Science, and Bachelor of Physiotherapy. I admit you all and severally to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Human Anatomy, Human Physiology, Bachelor of Nursing Science, and Bachelor of Physiotherapy of the Redeemers University. Congratulations. May I draw the attention of the Vice Chancellor to the first class and past with distinction graduates, whose name I will call, and each of whom is expected to walk to the dais to shake hands with the Vice Chancellor. Dipe Adeniyi, Ken De Joshua. 
O ye nu bi Oluwa se un Oluwa feran mi e go at a favor si na le mi Oluwa gbe mi ga faith ngozi ade agbo emi Oluwa joy and ade oti jade sola baba tope Congratulations, they are graduates from the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences. Please, um, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to know that in the Department of Nursing Science and the Department of Physiotherapy, um, the distinction is equivalent to first class and the credit equivalent to second class upper division. Please, a round of applause for our distinction graduates. The Vice Chancellor, sir, I now call on the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities, Professor Idowu O Odebode, to present his graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the statutes and regulations of the Redeemers University and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the first degrees of the university, Professor Odebode. All graduates for degree in the Faculty of Humanities for the 2022-2023 academic session should stand and remain standing. The Chancellor, sir, the Vice Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Humanities and by the authority of Senate, I have the honor to present to you. These persons who have successfully completed their degree programs in this university, those present and those for whom and for good cause are unavoidably absent, and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English, Asian International Studies, Theater Arts, and Christian Religious Studies. I admit you all as self-related to the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English, History and International Studies, Theater Arts, and Christian Religious Studies of Redeemers University. Congratulations. The Vice Chancellor, sir. Permit me to draw your attention to the following graduates who have been schooled, tooled, groomed by the university, and who have distinguished themselves to the point of earning the first class honors in their respective causes, whose names will be read out now while they walk to the days to have a handshake with the vice chancellor. I call on Benga Adejore, precious Bolu Atife, <laughs> to be followed by Obadari Uraola Ibuko, the next is Okanla one blessing for Milayo. Equere David Akanemo. Ilekura praise to Milulua. Ogboko Ogenefejiro Ulua Damilola. Ulua Yemisi George Ayomide. Adeniyi Izike Olayinka. Arogundade Akingbeingbe. Olaguju Theophilos Ulua Kayode. Olatayo Samuel and. Oye Deji, Sami Oye Banjo.
Congratulations once again. Now we move to the Faculty of Law. The Vice Chancellor, sir, I now call on the Dean of the Faculty of Law, Professor Ifeolu J. Kony, to present the graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the statutes and regulations of the Redeemers University and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the first degree of the university. Professor Kony, please. All graduates for the award of the first degree in the Faculty of Law for the 2022-2023 academic session should stand and remain standing. The Vice Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Law and by the authority of the Senate, I have the honor to present to you these persons who have successfully completed their degree program in this university, those present and those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxying, who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Laws. I admit you all and severally to the degree of Bachelor of Laws of Redeemers University. Congratulations. The Vice Chancellor, sir, I hereby draw your attention to the following graduates who have distinguished themselves in their studies and have obtained the first class honors. As I mentioned their names, that you walk to the dais with they are as follows Adebayo Paul Eriolua Azeta Efosa Angela Babatude Sharon Tolua Lola Dives Damilola Otavi Johnson Olubukola Esther and then Musidi Jane Kedi Kachuku Chancellor, I now call on the Dean of the Faculty of Management Sciences, Professor Mrs. B. O. Adeleke, to present the graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Redeemers University and who have been found worthy both in character 
and in learning to be admitted to the first degrees of the university, Professor Delikima. All graduates for the award of first degree in the Faculty of Management Sciences for the 2022-2023 academic session should stand and remain standing. The Vice Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Management Sciences and by the authority of Senate, I have the honor to present to you these persons who have successfully completed their degree programs in this university, those present, and those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent, and for whom I stand prosy, who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Banking and Finance, Insurance, Business Administration, Marketing, and Transport Management. I admit you all and severally to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Banking and Finance, Insurance, Business Administration, Marketing, and Transport Management of Redeemers University. Congratulations. I hereby call the attention of the Vice Chancellor to the following first class honorates who will walk to the days to shake hands with the Vice Chancellor. IDBC Eunice Mayoku. Anthony Babatunde Peter. Anumba Chukuka Emmanuel. Enoch Uche Chukumene Ichioma. Sholate Adewale Moses. Okezi Victor Somto. Olu Baba today, Tony Loba Rachel. And Adeyemi Adedayo, Olu Bukola. I now call on the Dean of the Faculty of Natural Sciences, Professor U. E. Vincent, to present the graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the statutes and regulations of the university and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the first degrees of the university, Professor Vincent. All graduates for the award of first degree 
in the Faculty of Natural Sciences for the 2022-2023 academic section should stand and remain standing. The Vice Chancellor, sir, in the name of the Faculty of Natural Sciences and by the authority of Senate, I have the honor to present to you these persons who have successfully completed their first degrees programs in this university, those who are present and those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Chemistry, Computer Science, Microbiology, Physics with Electronics and Statistics. I admit you all and severally to, to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Chemistry computer science, microbiology, physics with electronics, and statistics of Redeemers University. Congratulations. The Vice Chancellor, sir, I hereby draw your attention to the following graduates who distinguished themselves by obtaining uh, first class honors degrees in the various programs who I now invite to come forward for a handshake with the Vice Chancellor. Adedi Pekun Olua Tobiloba Adetunji, Computer Science. Ade Oshun Vincent Mayowa, Computer Science. Odunaye Victor Olubenga, Computer Science. Omotowa Olua Tobi Shalom, Computer Science. Ade Musha, Ulua Gotemi, Damilola, Physics with Electronics. request all our graduates to turn the tassel from the right to the left. Your tassels all turned to the left. You are now graduates of Redeemers University. Thank you very much. But we still need a group to join you, and that's from the Faculty of Social Sciences. The Vice Chancellor, I now call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences, and probably because we have accounting, those who owe our money, Professor and Mrs. O.I. Akibobola, to present the graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Redeemers University and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the first degrees of this university, Professor Akim Babola. All graduates to the award of first degree in the Faculty of Social Sciences for the 2022 to 2023 academic session should stand and remain standing.
the Vice Chancellor Sir, in the name of the Faculty of Social Sciences and by the authority of Senate, I have the honor to present to you those persons who have successfully completed their degree programs in this university, those present and those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent and for whom I stand proxy, who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Economics, Mass Communication, Political Science, Psychology, Sociology, and Tourism Studies. I admit you all and severally to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Economics, Mass Communication, Political Science, Psychology, Sociology, Saurism Studies of Redeemers University. Congratulations. I hereby draw your attention to the first class honors graduates whose names I will read and who will walk to the days to shake hands with you. They are Apune Elizabeth Nkechi, Ofiani Sandra Chinaza, Oyesom Benjamin Ewere, Olan Rewaju Taiwo Jokas. Adegeye Oluwato Yosimeri. Nkem Eze Pola Oluchi. Ola Itan Abigail Abisola. Owoju Ige Mayoku Josiah. Esther and Baba Wale and Oluapo Deborah. Vice Chancellor, sir, ladies and gentlemen, before the admission to higher degrees, I quickly want to recognize the presence of the representative of our mother in Israel, Mommy G.O. She was with us on Tuesday, and it was a day out with the God of Mommy G.O. Thank you very much, her representative. You are welcome. The Vice Chancellor, I now call on the Provost of the College of Postgraduate Studies, Professor O.G. Adeyemi, to present his graduates who have satisfied the requirements of the status and regulations of Redeemers University for the award of postgraduate diploma, master's degrees, master of philosophy and doctor of philosophy degree, and who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the higher degrees of the university. Professor Adeyemi.
with the postgraduate diploma, master degrees, masters of philosophy and doctor of philosophy, PhD graduates, please rise and remain standing. The Vice Chancellor, sir, in the name of the College of Bulgarian Studies and by the authority of Senate, I have the honor to present to you these persons who have successfully completed their Bulgarian Diploma, Master Degrees, Masters of Philosophy, and Doctor of Philosophy programs in this university, those present and those who, for good cause, are unavoidably absent, and for whom I stand prosing, who I will be found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the postgraduate diploma, various master's degrees, master's of philosophy, and doctor of philosophy PAD of Redeemers University. I admit you all, congratulations. The Vice Chancellor, I want to humbly call on the doctoral graduates to come forward to have a handshake with you, sir. In the Department of Behavioral Studies, PhD in Clinical Psychology, Dr. Ario Zage Joy, <laughs> Dr. Ogusemi Joshua Oludare. In the Department of Biological Sciences, PhD in Molecular Biology Genomics, Dr. Ajok Basile Fentola Victoria. Dr. George Uwem Etop, Dr. Oguze Judith Uche. Also in the same Department of Biological Sciences, PAD, Molecular Biology and Genomics Bioinformatics, Dr. Oluni Paul Eneola. Chancellor, sir. The Redeemers University Law of 2003, as amended, gives the university the power to confer distinguished professorship, fellowships, or other academic titles on worthy persons without examination. In line with the above, the Council and the University Senate have resolved that the title of distinguished professor be conferred on an eminent professor in the university, the first in the history of this university. Thank you. The council and the senate of the Redeemers University have resolved that the award of distinguished professor be conferred on Professor Christian T. Happy. I call on the university orator to present the honorary for the award of distinguished professorship of this university, Dr. Mrs. Unabuna Place. Mr. Vice Chancellor, kindly permit me to stand on existing protocol as I kindly request 
that Professor Happy stand while I read his citation. Professor Christian Happy, FAS, was born on 1st June 1968. He had his bachelor's degree in biochemistry from University of Yaoundé, Cameroon. He then went to University of Ibadan, Nigeria, where he bagged his master's and doctoral degrees in molecular parasitology. Thereafter, he proceeded to the Harvard School of Public Health, Harvard University, USA, for his postdoctoral fellowship, where he started his research in the field of molecular biology and genomics. He is presently a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Science. <clears throat> Professor Happy joined Redeemers University as Professor of Genomics in the Department of Biological Sciences in 2011. In Redeemers University, he established the World Bank-funded African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases, ASGID, where he led a team in, re in the real-time detection and sequencing of different disease outbreaks in the country and region at large. <clears throat> of significance is the Ebola virus disease in 2014, monkeypox in 2018, yellow fever in 2019, and SARS-CoV-2 viral diseases. In the recent case of SARS-CoV-2, Professor Happy and his team have sequenced over 4,500 genomes of the virus in Nigeria and other African countries, such as Somalia, Sudan, and Cameroon. For his work, he has received several research grants from funding bodies, such as World Bank, NIH, Wellcome Trust, CEPI, and so on. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, Professor Christian Happy is actively involved in the capacity building of African scientists in the field of genomics, microbiology, parasitology, and virology. He has trained well over 1,500 trainees at different levels and from 42 African countries. He is also a member of several editorial boards and reviewer of peer-reviewed journals such as Cell, Genome Biology, Emerging Eff Effectuous Diseases, Nature, Malaria Journal, and many more. He has published over 200 peer-reviewed articles that cut across different areas in infectious diseases and genomics. In Redeemers University, he has served as Dean of PG School and is a member of the Governing Council of the University. It is on this note that Redeemers University is pleased to confer on him the Distinguished Professorship Award. Eminent ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Professor Christian Happy. Thank you. By the authority vested in me, I confer on you the award of Distinguished Professorship of the Redeemers University. Congratulations.
On the recommendation of Council and Senate of the University, we confer on you the award of Distinguished Professor of Redeemers University. Congratulations. Confirmant of Honorary Degree, the Vice Chancellor, the Redeemers University Law of 2003 as amended gives the university the power to confer honorary degrees, fellowships or academic titles on worthy persons without examination. And in line with the above, the Council and Senate of Redeemers University have resolved that honorary degree be conferred on an eminent personality, the 12th in the history of the university. And once again, I call on the university orator, Dr. Mrs. Unabuna, to present Pastor Tokumbo Adesoya, a quintessential leader, the former pro chancellor and chairman of the governing council of Redeemers University, and chairman the Rock Group of Companies to be conferred the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters of Redeemers University. Mr. Chairman, sir, kindly permit me to stand on existing protocol as I read the citation of Pastor Tokumbo Adesonya. Pastor Tokumbo Adesoya attended Ibadan Grammar School from January 1964 to December 1969. He proceeded to the Republic of Ireland where he took his A-levels at St. Columbus College, Dublin, and studied law at the University of Ife from 1973 to 1976 where he obtained his bachelor's degree. Thereafter, he proceeded to the Nigerian Law School in Lagos in September 1976 and was called to the Nigerian Bar in July 1977. He has practiced in varied areas of law, starting in the chambers of Abayo Mishogbe Son San and Dr. F.A. Ajayi San before settling in his father's firm, Adesonya and Adesonya. In 2010, he founded a new law practice under the name Rockville and Company. Pastor Adesonya is an astute investor and is on the boards of various companies, including Guarantee Trust Bank PLC, WSTC Financial Services Limited, and Premium Health Nigeria Limited, to, to mention just a few. <laughs> Apart from his law practice, he has served as an ordained pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God since 1994, where he has pastored various parishes of the church. He is a very quiet achiever, a pillar of support to RCCG, City of David, and a staunch supporter of Daddy G. U. He is an unassuming and charitable person having lifted many out of poverty. Pastor Adesonya is the immediate past pro-chancellor and chairman of governing council of Redeemers University and a national elder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Adesonya has been a great blessing to Redeemers University, 
where he instituted in perpetuity the endowment of the overall best graduating student in the Faculty of Law. Throughout his tenure as Chairman of Council, he never collected any sitting allowance, did not solicit for contracts, <laughs> nor meddle with day-to-day -day administration of the university. Pastor Adesonya is happily married to Mrs. Olainka Adesonya, and they are blessed with four lovely children. <laughs> Due to his immense contributions to Redeemers University, the Governing Council and Senate of Redeemers University is pleased to confer on an illustrious elder statesman of international repute, Pastor Tokumbo Adesonya, the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Pastor Tokumbo Adesonya. Thank you. By the authority vested in me and in accordance with the provisions of Redeemer's University Law, I confer on you the degree of Doctors of Letters, Honoris Causa, of Redeemer's University, with the rights and privileges attached thereto. Congratulations. On the recommendation of the Council and Senate of the University, we hereby confer on you the degree of Doctors of Letters, Honoris Causa, on this day, 7th of September, 2023. Congratulations, sir. Law, I have the honor to invite our Mabel Pastor to Kumbo Adesoya to deliver the acceptance speech on behalf of the awardees. I have been introduced as Pastor, and uh, it's not out of place to say, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On behalf of um, Professor Happy and I, it's a great privilege and great honor to be honored by this great university. I know, I mean, having sat as chairman of council 
of this university for eight years, I know what process goes to choose an honorary awardee. For somebody like um, Professor Happy, it would have been no problem at all. He stands out, he stands tall. <laughs> the glory of God is upon him and seamlessly he just shines. So with his choice, there would have been little or no problems choosing him. But when I got a letter inviting me to be honored, I was wondering whether it was April, whether it was April Fool, but I found out that it was sometime in July, so it would not have been April Fool. Then I asked myself, what have you done to deserve this? They said, well deserved. I mean, that's the letter they wrote. And not fooling myself, I wrote back to them. I accept the honor with humility, but noting that it is not deserved, but simply the pleasure of God. And. <clears throat> And I stand on that statement today as I stand before the Senate, eminent professors, distinguished KBC, distinguished gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen in industry to accept on our behalf the honor that has been done to us. I say thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord continue to raise Redeemers University. May the Lord continue to strengthen the hands of the visitor, the visioner. When when you look at the story behind this university, it would take another day to tell the story. But for every year we stand in this place, we will congratulate Pastor E.A. Adeboye and his amiable wife, our dearest mommy, Mommy Gio, for founding this place. To the graduates of this particular year, I say to you, the Lord has given you an opportunity to stand upon the soil, upon a soil where God is. When you go out of here, people must be able to know that you have been in the presence of Christ. God bless you. God bless you all. May the Lord continue to strengthen Redeemers University. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Vice Chancellor, sir. Before the presentation of prizes, please, um, I crave your indulgence to recognize some people in our midst. 
they are distinguished and eminent personalities. I'd like to recognize the presence of a member of the Board of Trustees, Mrs. M. Ayuade Omoyeni. You're welcome, ma. The members of our governing council here present, Professor Mrs. Olufunke Adeboye. You're welcome, ma. Professor Adeshola Adepoju. Mr. Bolabo Olaniwu. Our graduates clap now, they've come to honor you. And Mr. Idowu Olorutoba, you are all welcome. Also representing the Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 11, DCP Ruben Abiola, you're welcome, sir. That's the Deputy Commissioner of Police Zone 11. The Commander Engineer Construction Command, Nigerian Navy, Ede, Brigadier General K.F. Suleiman, ably represented by Lieutenant Colonel P.A. Adeke, you're welcome, sir. Once again, I want to express special appreciation to all our regional pastors. In fact, I want to start with the assistant um, overseer, or continental overseer, Daddy Bolarewa, our regional pastors, our pastors in charge of provinces, all the senior pastors of the redeemed Christian Church of God, pastors from the redemption city of God, you are all welcome and we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Now to presentation of prizes. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following graduates who have attained academic and other distinctions in their respective fields of study during the 2022-2023 academic session. Please, as I call out your name, you walk up to the dais to have an handshake with the Vice Chancellor and receive your prize. The Visitor's Prize of 50,000 Naira for the best overall graduating student with the highest CGPA. Owoju Igbe Mayokun, Josiah, in the Department of Mass Communication. Please let me first. The Vice Chancellor's Prize of 25,000 Naira for the best overall graduating student with the highest CGPA. Owoju Igbe Mayokun, Josiah. Professor I buy your Oloyede's prize of 20,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Department of Mass Communication, provided his class of degree is not lower than second class honors, upper division, Owoju Igbe Mayoku Josiah. The Chancellor's prize of 40,000 Naira for the best graduating student for the graduating student who sufficiently demonstrated the best assets in creativity and innovation before graduation, Ibitoye Isaiah Ayomide in computer science. Please, our graduates, you all have a copy of the brochure with you. When you know that it will soon get to your turn, please rise and walk fast to the days. Bitoye Isaiah Elmide from the Department of Computer Science. Stephen and Satu Abechi Families Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Adeni Pepu Oluwato Biloba Adetunji from the Department of Computer Science. Cash Prize of 30,000 Naira, David Adelecon's Prize. For the best student in the computer science program, Adeni Pepun Adetunji. Vice Chancellor's Prize of 25,000 Naira for the graduating student with courageous leadership qualities. And from the Department of Computer Science, Adeoshun Vicent Mayowa. Vice Chancellor's Special Prize of 20,000 Naira for the determined and resilient graduating student. 
from the Faculty of Law, Okori Obina Christian. We move on to the faculty prizes. Cash prize of 20,000 Naira for the student with the highest CGPA in each faculty at the degree examination. From the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Oyenubi Oluwasheun Oluwaferomi, from the Department of Biochemistry. Oluwayemisi George Ayomide, Faculty of Humanities and in Theater Arts Program. Mosindi Jane Kidikachuku from the Faculty of Law. Sholate Adewale Moses, Faculty of Management Sciences and in Accounting. Adeni Kwekun Oluwa Tobiloba Adetunji, Faculty of Natural Sciences from the Department of Computer Science. Owoju Ikbe Mayoku Josiah, Faculty of Social Sciences, Mass Communication. Dean's Prize of 15,000 Naira for the final year student in each faculty who had been on the Dean's List for the most significant number of semesters. And from the Faculty of Medical Sciences in Biochemistry Department, Oyenu Biolua Shewolua Feromi. From the Faculty of Humanities and Department of Theater Arts, Oluwa Yemisi George Ayomide. From the Faculty of Law, Mosindi Jane Kidi Kachuku. Faculty of Management Sciences Accounting, Sholate Adewale Moses. Faculty of Natural Sciences in Computer Science Program, Adeni Kwekunwoluwa Tobiloba Adetunji. And Owoju Igbe Mayokun Josiah from the Faculty of Social Sciences Mass Communication Program. Redeemers University Family Forum Prizes. Cash prize of 100,000 Naira for the students that have the highest CGPA in each faculty at the degree examination. And from the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Oyenu Biolua Shewolua Feromi. From the Faculty of Humanities, Oluwa Yemisi George Ayomide. From the Faculty of Law, Mosindi Jane Kidikachuku. Faculty of Management Sciences, Sholate Adewale Moses. Faculty of Natural Sciences in Computer Science Program, Adeni Kwekun Oluwa Tobiloba Adetunji. And Faculty of Social Sciences, Owoju Igbe Mayokun Juzer. Now the departmental prizes. Cash prize of 10,000 Naira for the student with the highest CGPA in each department at the degree examinations. Department of Biochemistry, Oyenubi Oluwa Sheun Oluwa Feromi. Department of Human Anatomy, Eguatu Favor China Merem. Department of Human Physiology, Oluwa Sami Sera Jesu Tobiloba. From the Department of Nursing Science, Oluwa Gbemiga Faith Ngozi. Department of Physiotherapy, Adeoti Jadesola Babatope. Department of English, Okola Wa Blessing Fumilayo. Department of History and International Studies, Eguare David Akanimo. Eguare David Akanimo, Department of History and International Studies. And Department of Theater Arts, Oluwa Yemisi George Ayomide. Well, Faculty Department of Law, Mosindi Jane Kidikachuku. And in the Department of Accounting, Sholate Adewale Moses. Department of Business Administration and Marketing, Okeze Victor Samto. Department of Finance, Malagu Simisoluwa David. Similoluwa David Malagu, Department of Finance. Transport Management, Idowu Faith Aderisola, Department of Transport Management, Idowu Faith Aderiola, 
Adere Sola, the Department of Biological Sciences, Fatua Shefunke Mary. Fatua Shefunke Mary from the Department of Biological Sciences, Iwuchuku Udochuku Jubilee from the Department of Chemical Sciences. From the Department of Computer Science, Adeni Kwekun Oluwato Biloba Adetunji. In the Department of Mathematics and Statistics, Adubo Chiamaka Deborah. Department of Physical Sciences, Ade Mushon Oluwa Botemi Damilola. Department of Behavioral Studies, Akune Elizabeth Nkechi. Akune Elizabeth Nkechi, Department of Behavioral Studies. From the Department of Economics, Akinlano Temitokpe Oluwa Sheyi. Akinlano Temitokpe Oluwa Sheyi. Department of Mass Communication, Owoju Igbe Mayoku Josiah. From the Department of Political Sciences, Babawale Anuoluwakpo Deborah. Babawale Anuoluwakpo Deborah, Department of Political Science. Department of Tourism Studies, Akinlolu Victoria Omotola. Run Cooperative Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in business administration. Okezie Victor Sumto. Adere Miyomoumi Tomori's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating female student with at least a second class honors upper division in the business administration program. Olubaba Tunde, Tony Loba Rachel. Olubaba Tunde, Tony Loba Rachel. Chief Mrs. Oluremi Tinuzwu's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating female student in the Faculty of Humanities. Or Konla Won Blessing Fumilayo. Bumi Oyeyemi Julius Adeoye, Bojo Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in theater arts. Oluwaye Misi George Ayomide. Oluwaye Misi George Ayomide. Pastor Shegun Adegbiji's Prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student in theater arts. Oluwaye Misi George Ayomide. Chief Mrs. Oluremi Tinuzbu's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating female student with at least a second class honor upper division in microbiology program. Fatuwashe Funke Mary. Please can we clap? <laughs> Pastor Mrs. Abiodun Oshutoku's prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student in microbiology program, Fatua She Funke Mary. Dr. Olusha Gumimiko's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best paper in international relations, Ilekura Praise Temi Loluwa. Professor Akinjide Idowu Oshuntoku's prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Department of History and International Studies, Ilekura Praise Temi Loluwa. Professor Godwin, a Merrillist Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in biochemistry, provided his or class of degree is not lower than second class honors upper division. Oyenubi Oluwa Shewu Oluwa Feromi. Pa David Olatunde Matomi's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student with outstanding leadership and dedicated service as Christ Ambassador. Fadare Ayomide Elisha. Pastor Mrs. Olabisi Adeyewa's prize of 20,000 Naira for the most courageous determined and resilient female graduating students Akpo Esho Olasumbo Kende Redeemers University Women Association Prize of 20,000 Naira 
for the best behaved female graduating student. Odeyemi Victory Adeoluwa. Pastor Adetokumbo Adesoya's prize of 100,000 Naira. Student Faculty of Law, Mosindi Jane Kidikachuku. Mr. Bayo Oluk Baby's prize of 50,000 Naira. Where's your cup? Mr. Bayo Olubemi's prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the banking and finance program, Abdul Ayomide Ifeolua. Professor Ebenezer Olutokwe Akinawo's prize of 20,000 Naira for the best graduating student in psychology program, Akune Elizabeth Inkechi. Chief Mrs. Oluremi Tinubu's prize of, of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating female student, Akune Elizabeth Inkechi. Adeni Adebayo's prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student in econometrics in the Department of Economics, Ere Mosele Shalom Osede Bahem. Ere Mosele Shalom. Pastor Michael Oludare Raji's prize of 20,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Department of Chemical Sciences, Iwuchuku Idochuku Jubilee. Professor Adeshola Olatunde Adepoju's prize of 100,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the economics program with at least a second class honors upper division, Akinlano Temitope Oluwashei, Dr. Emmanuel Lai Adebayo's prize of 10,000 Naira for the graduating student who emerged the best library user with at least a second class honor upper division, Father Ray Ayomide Elisha. Redeemers University Alumni Association's prize of 20,000 Naira for the graduating student with outstanding leadership qualities, Amilo Uchechi Precious. Adedeji John Adeyemi's prize of 100,000 Naira for the graduating student with outstanding leadership qualities, Amilo Uchechi Precious. New Horizons Excellence Prize. Prize Award in International Professional IT and He Business Skills Certification. The prizes goes along with computer tablets and to the three best three graduating students in the professional certification examination. The first person, Ade Oshun Vincent Mayawa in computer science program. Owoju Igbe Mayo Kun Josiah in Mass Communication Program and Samagbeyi Iyanu Esther in Mass Communication Program. Samagbeyi Iyanu Esther. Daniela's Equest Prize of 20,000 Naira for the best graduating student in Genetics in the Department of Biological Sciences, David Dominion Ojonoka. David Dominion Ojonoka. Samuel Akinuga's prize for leadership award and innovation, a cash prize of 35,000 Naira for the best graduating student in leadership and innovation, Adegaye Oluwatoyosi Mary. Honorable Justice Ade Dotun Grace Onibokun's prize of 100,000 Naira for the best graduating student in civil procedure in the Faculty of Law. Bionus Treasure Uche Amaka. Bionus Treasure Uche Amaka. Directorate of Educational Services Training Prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student 
in the part-time degree program Oye Deji Sami Oye Banjo Best prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating student in part-time program Oye Deji Sami Oye Banjo and he's from the Department of Christian Religious Studies Adedeji John Adeyemi's prize of 100,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Department of Political Science. Babawale Aluoluwa for Deborah. Professor Oye Ogumbadejo's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Department of Political Science. Babawale Aluoluwa for Deborah. Elder S.M. Olakunri's prize of 100,000 Naira for the best graduating student in civil and legal proceedings in the Faculty of Law, Adebayo Paul Eriolua. Pa Lawrence Adegoke Olayin Cash Prize, a cash prize of 10,000 Naira for leadership in recognition of the selfless contribution to class representative in the Faculty of Law, Okure Sharon Eno. Pa Lawrence Adegoke Olayin Cash Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best behaved student who combined learning with good character in the Faculty of Law, Babatunde Sharon Toluwalola. Pastor Olaide Adenuga's prize of 20,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the nursing science program, Oluwagbemiga Faith Ngozi. Mofolusha Olutayo's David prize of 25,000 Naira for the best student in financial management in the accounting program, Adiago Ifeoluwa Peace. <laughs> Professor Christian Happy's prize of 50,000 Naira for the best graduating master's degree student in the molecular biology and genomics program, Olafusi Celestina Oluwa Sheu. Professor Hamid Yerima's prize, a cash prize of 50,000 Naira for the best PhD thesis award in the College of Postgraduate Studies, Oguze Judith Uche. Oguze Judith Uche. Funke Bukola Adeyeye Foundation's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating PhD student in CGHDS Center for Gender and Humanitarian Development Studies, Olubenga Olufemi Awo Unsa. Funke Bukola Adeyeye Foundation's Prize, a cash prize of 10,000 Naira for the best master's degree thesis award in Gender and Development Studies program, Dairo Bukola Elizabeth. Professor Olabizi Aino's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in Gender and Development Studies, Dairo Bukola Elizabeth. Abiola Akiyode Afolabi's prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in Gender Development and Studies program, Dairo Bukola Elizabeth. Funke Bukola Adeyeye's foundation's prize, a prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in the Center for Gender, Humanitarian, and Development Studies, Dairo Bukola Elizabeth. Patricia Olupumi Foluke Etes Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in Gender and Politics, Dairo Bukola Elizabeth. Funke Bukola Adeyeye Foundation's Prize of 10,000 Naira for the best master's Thesis Award in Humanitarian and Development Studies Program, Kuye Modupe Oluwa Mary. Funke Bukola Adeyeye Foundation's Prize, a cash prize of 10,000 Naira for the best graduating student in Humanitarian and Development Studies Program, Kuye Modupe Oluwa Mary. Oluwa Toyin Olatuntun Ilesamis Prize, 
cash prize of 10,000 Naira for the best capstone project from the internship. Ogula de Ibiyinka. And last but not the least, Mr. Benedict Alabiz, CGHDS International Consortium Outreach Ambassadorial Prize of 10,000 Naira for the graduating student who has highly supported the hybrid events in person and virtual, Otue Cherry, Dorothy Damatehibi. I call on the Vice Chancellor, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now to recognize our outstanding parents of the year. The Vice Chancellor, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We invite the following parents of the year 2022-2023 who have sponsored at least three children awards for degree program in Redeemers University with at least one of them graduating today. Number one, anonymous 30 students. Number two, Pastor Joshua Okunlola and Pastor Mrs. Simitokwe Aremu, three awards. Pastor Prince Nicholas and Pastor Mrs. Adetutu Akin John, three awards. Mr. Adekunle and Mrs. Oluwashin Loki, three children. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Ademu Yuwaru Timi Adebanjo, three. Prince Barista and Pastor Mrs. Adenike Adewale, three. Eugenia Kayode and Mrs. Adeshua Adelaja, three words. Reverend Dr. Stephen and Pastor Mrs. Okoye, three words. Mr. Olusanya and Mrs. Yemesi Uluba Batunde, three words. Mr. and Dickness Kayode O Sunday, three words. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Joshua A. Olari Waju, three words. Pastor and Mrs. Florence and Mr. Raphael Namani, three words. I think traditionally we ask the parents to come forward for handshake. Vice Chancellor, I now invite Mr. Owojuigbe Mayokun Joser, the 2022-2023 Valedictorian, to deliver his speech on behalf of his colleagues. Mr. Owojuigbe. Honorable Chancellor, 
the Pro Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Principal Officers of the University, Chairman Board of Trustees, Representative of the Visitor, Royal Fathers, Dignitaries and Guests in Attendance, Dignified Professors, Parents, Students and Staff of Redeemers University, and the Gentlemen of the Press, I greet you all. It is a rare privilege that I'm standing here today. I remember years ago, as a student in Redeemers High School, RHS, I would look at the buildings that made up the Redeemers University campus back then at Redemption Camp and I would feel a longing for the school. Little did I know that the hands of destiny would change the course of my life and bring me back here. After spending nearly four years in medical school at the University of Ibadan. So here I am, standing in my dream school and delivering the valedictory speech. <laughs> what a mighty miracle. The day I was officially informed of being the best graduating student, for the first time in my four years in this school, I cried. I cried because I was overwhelmed by the goodness of God. I cried because I was overwhelmed by the faithfulness of God. And I cried because I had just lost a dear uncle. That is why I'm dedicating this brief moment of silence to him. May his soul rest in peace. Indeed, I do not consider myself to be any special for having an outstanding result for four years. I consider all this a story of unmerited favor, and I promise not to let my lecturers down. To my parents who have stood by me through thick and thin, I want to say you deserve all the joy that this day brings, and I love you. <laughs> I also want to recognize the presence of my uncle, Reverend Bola Joko and his wife, who took me in during my IT. God bless you. To the friends I am leaving behind, remember to always pursue excellence. But if you cannot reach it, that is okay too. We cannot all be equal, but whatever you do, make sure you do it with might and passion. To the members of the Dominion Set graduating class. I wish you well. I pray whenever we hear about ourselves, it shall be nothing but good news always. Finally, I wish to say a big thank you to our revered Father in the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboye. The impact of his teachings on my life cannot go unmentioned in my success story. I also want to appreciate the lecturers who went the extra mile to mentor me. I pray when your children need help, they will find it. And to our benefactors who have so graciously given gifts and awards today, may the source of your wealth never run dry. Thank you, everyone, and God bless Redeemers University. I would like to inform the Redeemers University Choir to get set. But before the rendition of the special number, it's time to invite our alumni president to conduct the induction ceremony. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, I call on Mr. Idowu Olorutoba to conduct the induction ceremony. The chairman, sir, standing on existing protocol, <clears throat> once again, I'd like to congratulate the Dominion set. Please, can you put your hands together for yourself? <laughs> All right. Before we take the um, induction ceremony, we'll quickly like to honor the honorary awardees. We had our dinner with the graduating class, our cocktail, about a day ago. So today, where we gave awards to those just graduating, and then we are having the honorary awardees also, they have their awards. For those of you that came out just, I mean, a while ago, you got your presentations, you got your cash gifts, but these are people we cannot give cash. So put your hands together. We're going to celebrate them by giving them some awards. 
first on the list is to Pastor Tokumbo Adesoya. Please. Today he becomes an honorary member of the Redeemers University Alumni Association. The Alumni Relations Officer, please, can you join the photo order of photographs? All right, secondly, to the first to receive a Distinguished Professor Award in the Redeemers University, celebrate Professor H.T. Happy. Thank you so much for leading our university in a direction that puts us on a global scale. And that's why we're presenting this award to you. Thank you so much, sir. All right, please put those hands together one more time if you're happy. Okay. Before we take the oath, I'd like to just challenge you with just a word. To the graduating class, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have most imagined and live it in excellence. Live it in integrity. Live it in the fear of God. And remember the words of that Jew where he said, you should stand out. How many of us remember that? This is the time for you to remember those words, stand out and be outstanding. This is a call for you to even be a member of the association. The oath you are taking today just takes you into a new journey. It is a call into the membership of the alumni. So from today, you begin to start a new journey. We have a saying that says, running with a vision. That vision starts at the point of graduation. The vision to change the world starts today. May you please rise on your feet gracefully and gallantly while we take the oath. All right. Say after me. Say, I, your name, do solemnly affirm that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Redeemers University Alumni Association and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the association. So help me God. Congratulations. Before we listen to the rendition by the Redeemers University Choir, I want to recognize the representative of our landlord, the Timiagbale of um, Ede, His Royal Majesty, Oba Munurudin Adeshola Laminisa One. He has sent his chiefs to represent KBSCO. Our greetings to Oba Laminisa. Thank you very much. Our choir, please. Um, this is a special rendition to our outgoing vice chancellor.
bride and Mary, Christ shall ever be. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless the Trinity of the best that thou hast given earth and heaven render thee in joy in his heart he be praised give him joy in his heart he be give him joy in his heart he be praised he be praised
Thank you very much. The Vice Chancellor, I have the honor, most respectively, to invite the Chairman, Board of Trustees, Pastor Olukai Odekwito, to deliver his Koi note address. Pastor Kwito, sir. Good afternoon to everyone here present and those who have joined us online. Uh, I will stick with the existing protocol so we can save some time. In my speech, I will talk more to our graduates today and a few of us. So it gives me great pleasure to address you all at this pivotal point in your lives as you graduate from this great institution. I thank the almighty God for preserving all of us to see this day of joy. You have toiled and labored at your studies through thick and thin and have emerged victorious. To God be the glory, amen. You all started this journey some four or five years ago with so many uncertainties. But today, the set goals have been achieved. You will agree with me that not everyone who starts a race makes it to the finishing line. Some fall, some faint, while some others violate the rules guiding the race and are disqualified at some point on this path. But this is not the lot of all of you who are here today. So to God be all the glory. Similarly, as an institution, we need to give praise to the Lord who did not allow evil occurrences to overwhelm us, particularly over the graduates of today, since they commenced their studies and by God's grace, they have graduated now. To our esteemed parents who are here today, I rejoice with all of you. We appreciate your confidence in us for sending your sons and daughters to this institution. We solicit your continued support for the university, even after your sons and daughters and words have moved on from here. Our prayer is that this investment in your children will be greatly rewarded now and always in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we continue in the joy of today, I would like the graduates to ponder for a while on their name, Dominion Set. In what areas of life can you say that you have obtained dominion during your period of sojourn in this university. This is important because the degree you have been awarded is not only in academic learning, but also in character. Present all over the world, your degree or certificate alone is not enough for you to do. You need to have dominion over social vices. You need dominion or mastery of soft skills that are now needed in the marketplace. You need dominion in the area of interpersonal relationships. And most importantly, you need to have dominion over yourself, just like Paul the Apostle said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. He said, I put myself under so that after all, I will not be a cast away. That was paraphrased. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, Genesis 1, 28, the Bible says, God blessed them to be fruitful, to multiply, and to have dominion over all that he had created. I would like you to run your race with this mandate as you step into the marketplace. And I pray that you will have dominion 
in every area of your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We love graduates as you leave this institution and step out the next chapter of your lives. I would like you to pay attention to the undilisted tips that will help you to succeed in life. Number one, focus on your goals. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25. It says, let thine eyes look right on. Let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet. And let all thy ways be established. Set goals for your new phase of life. Are these goals that you have set for yourselves smart goals? S M A R T. That means the goals must be specific, they must be measurable, they must be attainable, they must be realistic, and they must be timely. These goals, you should set goals that are enough to pull you through the uncertainties ahead of your life's journey. Remember that the milestone you are achieving or you have achieved today happens to be the manifestation of the goals that was set a few years ago. This is the time to dream again. Abacus chapter 2 verse 2 says, write the vision down and make it plain upon tables that it may run that reaches it. I pray that the Almighty God will help you and see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, build relationships. The world you are spe stepping into requires destiny helpers for you to tread some areas with ease. These helpers come in different forms and types. It is difficult to succeed alone. Hold tight your fellow graduates, as you may never know when you will need them as leverage to achieve your dreams. The Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 30 says, One man will chase a thousand, and two shall put to flight ten thousand. You need yourselves. People from different parts of the country, people that are at different courses, you'll be surprised. 20, 25 years from today, they might be the ones that might help you to get to the next level. You did not come to the same university by accident. God planned it to be so. Number three, have integrity. This is the currency for excellence and growth in the marketplace. Your actions and inaction in your everyday endeavors we determine people's perception of you and whether you can be trusted or not. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 7 and verse 8 says the Lord grants treasures of common sense to the honest and a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Sometimes, Integrity comes with a price, but in the end, integrity will reward. Number three, diligence is very important as you start your journey. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Proverbs 22, 29 says, See, a doubt a man diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Do you desire to achieve great heights in your career pursuit? Do you want to be relevant in the cycle of your influence? Then desire to see diligence as a way of life. Don't be slothful in business. Be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. I'm praying that God will make you to be relevant in your areas of endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, number five. Do not forget your creator. If Paul plants and Apollo watered, without the grace of God, 
the whole effort will be in futility. So then, neither is he that plants anything, nor he that waters, but God that giveth the increase. You have been well nurtured during your stay in this university. Increase your depth in fellowshipping with God and in his service, for there will be great reward. The Bible says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. I am confident that if you follow these principles and stay focused on them, you are destined for the top. When you get to the top, never forget your alma mater. The Almighty God will see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, congratulations, and I will see you at the top. God bless you. Thank you. Please, I'd like to recognize the presence of the immediate past provost of the Redeemed Christian Bible College, Professor Adedibu. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> now, it's the address of the visitor to the university. The Vice Chancellor, sir, I have the honor, most respectively, to invite the visitor to Redeemer's University, Pastor Enoch Kadejari Adebui, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, ably represented by the Chairman Board of Trustees, Pastor Bito, to give the address. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. So, standing in the place of Jerobasi, you know, it's a very difficult thing to do. Our father would have loved to be here, but we know that uh, daddy has so many engagements. Uh, so, on his behalf, he wants us to greet you and to let you know that he's here with us in the spirit and that the good works the Lord has started here, he will complete. He also says that we should let you know the good Lord who brought you here safely will take you back home safely in the mighty name of Jesus. So I will just read his address. I think that's the better way to start. So an address by our father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adijari Adeboye, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God and the visitor to Redeemers University on the occasion of the 15th convocation ceremony of the university, this seventh day of September 2023, I will want to stand on the existing protocol. If daddy were here, he would greet everybody one by one. Uh, to God be the glory for great things he has done in bringing us to the end of another glorious crisis-free session. God has been our helper throughout all these years, and so shall it be forever. At the beginning of the 2022-2023 academic session, we had some stuttering steps with the good problem of a significant upsurge in student enrollment, which stretched the available facilities of the university. Fortunately, the RCCG mission, the proprietor, in collaboration with the university management, ably led by the vice chancellor, my son, Professor Anthony Enison Akilo, were able to address the problem. This time around, the university has taken adequate steps to forestall a repeat of such a very challenging situation. 
the university, like every living and growing organism, we keep having issues of growth. And so we continually task the managers to prefer the needed solutions to such evolving situations. Just as the demands required in nursing a child from infancy to the toddler level, then through the different ages of preschool, kindergarten, junior basic, senior basic, early things, mid teens, late teens, and young adulthood, all have their different coping demands on the parts of the parents. I want to sincerely thank the Almighty God for providing us the Vice Chancellor, Professor Akinlo. Please let us thank him on behalf of Daddy. <laughs> At such a time like this, the Lord will bless him and his family in every facet of life. I equally commend other members of the management staff, the academic and non-teaching staff who work with the understanding that they are doing God's work in Redeemers University. My God, who owes no man, will reward them adequately in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to appreciate the parents who are subscribing to this God's own university. God will give you satisfaction over your children and your words far beyond your expectations in the mighty name of Jesus. With the Bible's counsel in Proverbs 22, verse 6, that says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. A good seed of the fear of God, which is the beginning of wisdom, has been sown in your children and your words while they were in this university. So please, help to further nurture their growth by encouraging them to remain close to God, especially through obedience and service to his kingdom. None of you will sorrow over any of your children and your words in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, to my graduating students, I congratulate each of you very warmly. As a follow-up to the charge I had given earlier, the Bible says Jesus began to do and to teach. And Bible for that, Jesus, not to be hearers of the word only, but also doers of the word. Acts chapter 1 verse 1 and James chapter 1 verse 22. As you exit from Redeemers University, don't allow the world and its loss to distract you to taking the fear of God in you out. Practice godliness. Humility. Be a lover of God and his word. Remember that all things answers to prayers if rightly done. And because God remains the best rewarder, give to him your first fruits, tithes, and offerings, and nothing can stop your prosperity. Always remember your alma mater, Redeemers University, as you go. As partners to this great cause, may my father the owner of Redeemers University, reward you as you seek a goodwill wherever you go beyond expectations in the mighty name of Jesus. May the good Lord bless all of you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Daddy. God bless you. Now we've come to the close of convocation.
ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to recognize the presence of the second substantive registrar of Redeemers University, Mrs. Bola Tito Oloketui, and her handsome, loving husband, Honorable Benga Oloketui. You welcome ma. Our registrar looking so young and beautiful, I couldn't recognize her. You're welcome, ma. Thank you very much. And I'll call on the Vice Chancellor, sir, to declare the convocation closed. I declare the convocation closed. Now we'll take the Hallelujah Chorus by Redeemers University Choir and immediately after the Hallelujah Chorus, Pastor Olushe Yalakija will offer the closing prayer. Then we'll take the University Anthem, the National Anthem, just one verse. Then the procession will move in the reverse order. Please, I'd like to employ all that while the, um, the procession is moving, please can we all be upstanding and remain in front of our seat. Thank you very much. We have our graduating students of Live Voices, the University Choir, join us with the Hallelujah Chorus.
Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we return all the glory to you for great things you have done for us. Thank you first and foremost for Johnny Messies you granted everyone to this place today. Please accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Thank you for the journey of four or five years for our beloved graduates of today. Thank you for provision for their parents. Thank you for health. Thank you for all the support. Please take all the glory in Jesus' name. We are praying for all our parents today that the joy of today will never cease in Jesus' name. You who had helped them to labor over these children, you preserve them to begin to eat from the fruits of their labor in the name of Jesus. Death and sorrow will be far from all our parents in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask for our graduates, God will take you from this level of glory to a higher level of glory. You will not be a wasted effort. You will succeed and excel in the name of Jesus. We pray for all our leaders in the church, starting with our Father in the Lord and our mother in Israel. Please preserve them in health, in strength, in wisdom, and in favor. Let only good news be heard concerning them. And Lord, for all management, the chairman of BOT, board of trustee, and everyone that is helping this university to move forward, please, Lord, support them in Jesus' name. They will never know shame. They will not run into error in the name of Jesus. Our university is in your hand, O oh God. You have been our help. But we know you have greater plans for us. Even in this next session, let the name of your university go places in Jesus' name. Let our success be unprecedented in the name of Jesus. The awardees of today, Lord, keep them. Strengthen them. Use them more and more for the glory of this university. And all of us who are here to celebrate, we ask that our joy will be full. As we go, we go into favor. We will meet our homes in peace. And the name of the Lord will be glorified. Nigeria, it is well with you. RCCG, it is well with you. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. The anthem. The university anthem. Can we do it together? Has been planted with all our hearts set on high for the truth will always stand in this great land far and wide. We are running day by day with the vision we have seen to change the world when we mean it as we have lived. National Anthem. Thank you. 
Some from the earth. 